What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics and today in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw heads and it's going to be really cool but let's begin. The first thing we want to do is first off whenever drawing anything is start off with your guidelines. Heads are very simple. It's basically triangles and circles and straight lines and that's pretty much how you want to do it. In this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw three different angles, the front, side, and a slanted downward angle but yeah so when you're preparing your rough sketch pretty much when you're doing a frontal view you want to envision um, like an egg form yeah it's like the easiest way to describe it pretty much like you're drawing an egg pointing downward and then you just draw your guidelines where things are going to be at very important that you draw your guidelines at certain place points so you know where your mouth your nose and your eyes and ears are going to be at and then pretty much when you start to add more detail to your head you can start adding details like the facial curves and things like that and you know the other features such as your eyes mouth and your um, your nose and stuff and your hair and as you can see here I'm doing a process where I drew my guidelines and I'm just drawing in the details of my mouth my nose and then my eyes and guidelines really do help out a lot when you're trying to figure out where to place these things because they're easily adjustable when creating your character and as you can see I'm drawing in this woman's face and it's coming out very nicely very quickly and very fast and I know where to put my eyes I know where to put my ears my nose and my mouth because of my guidelines and they're easily deletable and stuff like that that's not going to damage your image as you're doing your rough sketch phase and realistically you just gotta take your time with it and just look at your picture as you're making it so you're able to make the right proportions and things when you're creating it and when it comes to the skull, the cranium part of the head, uh, realistically, that's just there for a placeholder for your hair. Usually, I always delete parts of it just because it's no longer needed. And so I'm going to try giving my character a, in particular, hairstyle across all of the characters I'm drawing or all the heads I'm drawing today. And I just wanted to just show you guys that realistically, you don't need to have the upper part of the head there just because the hair covers up most of it. I mean, if your character is going to be bald, which is why I'm drawing this character with hair on one side and then half hair on the other side just to show as an example um, how the hair uh, can cover up a lot of the head and then you can just delete the inner details just to show what is there and not and this is going to be pretty much the, the finished product of the first head it's really cool and I hope you guys enjoyed it and we're going to start moving on to the second head but this one did come out very nice it's very basic and very quick so I do apologize for its sloppiness but uh, yeah Okay, so I'm going to begin with the other angle. I'm going to be doing a side shot. So it's very simple, very easy if you're going to be drawing a side shot, depending on what style of anime you're going to be drawing, because you can draw side shots in so many different ways. But the easiest way, in my opinion, is usually by first making a big, giant circle, just to show as a placement, because like I said earlier, pretty much heads usually are always begin with a circle before you start making the oval shape and with triangles and stuff. So with the side angle it's more of a big circle and then you're going to draw a line through the bottom portion of the circle just as a placement and then what you're going to do after that is you're going to start forming the nose or the back of the neck depending which way you want to start and pretty much you just want to curve it and like I said in Illustrator is very easy to adjust your settings and stuff just if you like to make a mistake like I'm doing right here I adjust the lines by bringing it down even lower just so I'm able to have a better placement for the nose the frontal part of the face and you just really want to just rough sketch it out and the circle method really does help out a lot when you're working with the digital software like this it makes it 10 times easier because you can easily delete things and correct things and as you see here the head is coming together very fast and very quickly in this rough sketch uh, the lines are very simple like I said circles and triangles and straight lines and do not forget to use your guidelines um, and personally I am not very good at drawing sideways shots uh, in higher detail Usually my side shots will get about as good as you're looking at right now. I mean, unless I drew every image for like the next couple of weeks on the side and just practice it, then I would get good. But I don't got time for that and it'll look very basic. And as you can see, I deleted a lot of the inner detail, part of the back of the cranium. And then I'm just going to start adding in the detail. And with this side, I'm going to have her balder side of her head shown and then her bigger spiky hair shown on the other side and I'm just quickly going through it just to show you guys uh, this one is definitely a rushed one because I'm not the best at drawing side angles but the only way to get better is practicing and as you can see here I am doing what I can and realistically just have fun with your image 
All right, so we are now about to begin with the third and final angle that I have, and also my most favorite one. This one actually finalized because I liked it so much while creating it. This is a three-fourths frontal angle that is downward, so you're gonna see more of her left side of her face and her right side of the face is gonna be covered up. So big emphasis on her left ear, her left eye, and stuff like that. But let's begin, always with the circle method. This one does not have to be a perfect circle just because of the type of angle is kind of downward. And it's gonna be a circle and again a uh, type of triangle as you see there so again it also looks like a chicken's egg and then you just draw your guidelines like I said earlier you want to draw your guidelines at the angle of what you want things to be so top's gonna be your eyes and ears then the middle's gonna be your nose and then the bottom is gonna be your mouth and then the neck part when you're drawing the neck it's kind of connected to the ear so you'll see that and I'm gonna draw this more in anime form unlike the very first one where I gave her luscious lips in the second one where I didn't give her no mouth. This one, she's going to have a very subtle mouth. And as you can see here, I'm drawing the ear. You can see the ear crease in the curve. And then that's where you're going to draw the other part of the neck, um, as you see here. And it just comes together. And do not forget to delete as you go, as you work, when you're creating your finalized details, uh, just because it helps clean things up. As you see here, I'm deleting part of my guidelines as I'm going. I gave her really the, I, I, get, I call them the cool eyes, where they're cut real low and stuff, like the serious eyes. I gave her the cool eyes and again like I said you don't have to do too much when creating your character just have some fun with it and just really experiment and play with the type of angles because there's ridiculous amount of angles and I do want to apologize for leaving out the the, the forward looking up angle that's just one I never been really good at so I decided not to do that and so yeah I apologize and again like I said earlier in the video when you're drawing in your hair depending if it's big or not big super spiky or not which is why I'm drawing my character with half and half um, you can see how I get rid of and delete some of my guidelines for example the back of her cranium I deleted a bunch of it right there and don't need it no more but that's pretty much the video. I, this is my finalized one right here, and, I'm, and I enjoyed it the most out of all of them. So I'm actually going to finalize this one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you guys. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think, if this helped you out. But you already know, it's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And you know what I do? I like to draw shit, and I like to have fun with it. But yeah, make sure you rate comment subscribe hit that like button all that bullshit hopefully you guys enjoy the finished product gonna let it go over into the speed art section but your boy out